All right, so we are just gonna be rocking with this camera today. I really don't feel like setting up the other camera, but today we are talking all about St. John. I've just recently been getting into him quite a bit and going through all of his albums. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't gotten into him a lot sooner. I've been listening to him nonstop recently on repeat. That being said, I don't wanna just make a St. John type beat today. I wanna make a St. John type EP. I'm talking like six beats maybe. Hi. All right, so I fully intended on making six beats for this video, but as you can see, I'm not currently in my studio. So the reason for that is my sister's in town for my mother's 50th birthday, and we are currently in a hotel room, and I just kept them procrastinating making the next couple of beats, so there's gonna be only two beats, and um, maybe I'll do some more in the future. Maybe it'll be like a part two to this video, but for right now, this video, two beats. That's all you're gonna get. Sorry. All right. Have fun. But uh, no mixing, no mastering, not really a whole lot of arrangement. Just making the loop and then moving on. That being said, let's get into the very first beat. A lot of his uh, his type beats are going to be very atmospheric, not melodic. That way he has a whole lot of room to add his singing. And then kind of some crazy drums, and that's really it. And that's going to be the majority of the beats today. The main thing is that you set a tone and get everything... <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Let's try going to like Omnisphere and then making some chords with like a pad or something like that. That should be pretty much it. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. That's already sounding perfect. And then for this one, just go down. Nah, not quite. Just leave like that, it's fine. And then just go down. It's honestly whatever. All right, cool. All right, so we could leave it at that, but I do have another idea over here too. I'm grabbing another, some sort of like pad or synth or like, something like that. That ain't it, Chief. So that wasn't really what I was planning to do with this one, but it actually, like this sound is actually kind of dope. But I may need one more layer to actually do what I wanted to do. I want to add just a little bit of rhythm here. So by getting one more synth, this could be good. Next thing is putting those onto a mixer track real quick. And then for this one right here, the long synth, getting shaper box to close right there. That should be perfect. And I, I can't remember what song he actually did that with, but this is actually something similar to what he did in that song. But honestly, just for now, I'm gonna be turning off that one and then uh, rocking with just these two, actually. All right, one last thing. I'm gonna say that like 16 more times during this video, but just one last thing for these melodies. Grabbing, um, is it this one? It is not. We'll try out this one for now, but I think this one's going to be changing. There it is. Found it. Mmm, so close. I definitely don't think I've got the right um, sound selection right now. It's got to be a lot more atmos like atmospheric. It's like one that I know was so good. I'm an idiot. It's actually over here. This one. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Just a whole bunch of reverb, and that's much more tucked in the background. Now I think I've got everything that I want to start adding some drums. All right, I did notice he uses a whole bunch of different sounds in his beats too, like a lot of different snares, uh, and just little things to add more depth. Gosh, man. Fire! Simple but fire. All right, a lot of work needs to be done to these hi hats, though. I 
I did notice he goes kind of crazy with the hi hats though. I think we need some more like perks or something like that though. It's got a little bit of an attack to this one, right? So I'm actually gonna be pulling this back just a little bit like that. All right, so I don't think that I need a kick here, but I want a kick. Want to do like some melodic 808s and they sort of kind of are but they're just like simple like i think it's only like four or five notes that i'm using nothing too crazy for arrangement just going to be going over here and uh doing some light stuff No, can't do that yet. That drop has to hit a lot harder. So it's going to be doing this and then giving him some room just to do his thing, you know? Mm. Done. All right, so here's going to be our final loop. Again, nothing crazy. Uh, if I want to actually go in here and add some more like textures, I definitely could and probably should. You know, let's go see if we can go find something real quick, huh? There we go. So here's what beat number one sounds like. And again, remember, this is all unmixed. And on that note, we're gonna give this a break. All right, so it's now the next day. I had to go run some errands. In fact, I actually don't have that much time here today. Did not mean to do that. But anyway, wanna get started on beat number two. And I was actually messing around in FL Studio before turning on the camera, just doing this sort of thing. Something like that. I couldn't quite figure out the melody that I wanna get for it. So I actually took some time off camera and uh, came up with this. But the main thing is that it has that sort of like bell effect at the very beginning. And then all the notes played afterwards are slides, right? So I actually made this right here. And it's basically going to be that simple. Um, I don't actually, it's not very melodic at all. If anything, it's only barely four notes. But I feel like I can do a lot with the uh, mixing in there. So I'm actually gonna go put this onto a mixer track right now, uh, add some effects, and then we will begin adding some more layers and some more melodies. But my initial thought is actually adding some halftime, seeing how that sounds. I don't think this is the wave. So if I add uh, some EQ and some reverb, it might be able to do some pretty cool stuff to it. And by the way, using the Curve 2 VST, which I actually did a video on a little while ago. I want to try and find a layer for that though. What is this? That kind of works out actually. Paste that, go down another octave. Done. Done, that's the one. I want like some, uh, some chords probably. Or actually, I just thought something else too. I'm getting started on uh, <laughs> on some drums real quick. Why is it already a vibe? What the hell?
something just so spread out like that really like but this one this one's definitely not right though Weird flow to this one, but I actually really, really like this. Tight. Bro, I honestly, my one thing that I really don't like that I need to actually really improve is I get so lazy with my hi hats, bro. It's just, it's such a problem. And especially making like a St. John type beat, I really don't feel like you should be lazy with your hi hats. Like, that's the one thing where it's like, he goes, he adds a lot of flavor with the hi-hats. This one, I want to be pretty simple. So I might just go add like uh, one more snare and be done with it. Gotta have an open hat though. Gotta have an open hat for sure on this one. I was vibing too hard and I spilled my Zebia all over me. That's on me. Now dude, this is actually kind of fire. Like as much as like, okay, I'm gonna do something real weird, all right? I'm gonna add a kick, but you're not gonna be able to hear in the mix at all. I'm gonna be muting it. I just want it to be side-chained like the 808, but I don't want it to be side-chained to the 808. This is gonna sound really weird. Best, I know I said no mixing, but I, this is like the whole point behind this beat right here, okay? So it just, literally does not matter the kick. We'll go with my favorite kick right here. All right, now next thing, putting everything onto a mixer track, right? Now putting all these onto a melody bus over here. So we have everything that we need for this part right here. Crank up that volume. Get as high as we possibly can. So basically all I'm gonna be doing is taking our kick right here and side chain to this track only, to the melody bus. Go over here, grab a limiter, go to comp, side chain. Make sure it's on the kick, yep. So we get that sort of effect, you know? Without actually having the kick playing, which is actually what I want. It's gonna sound so weird. I love that so much. Holy crap. All right, let's hear that with just, with just that stuff going. Mm. Dude, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. And yes, I know that you can get the same effect by side chaining the 808 to the melody instead, but it would take a lot longer, like in a weird way to get it to work exactly how I wanted it to. So this way, it's just easier. Okay, no, actually cut everything else off after, what, that one, right? Yeah, right there. Mm, that was good. Dude, that is so freaking beautiful. All right, uh, that's probably gonna be the end of uh, beat number two right here. This will be start of the... Uh, this again right there. Yeah, okay. This is our loop right here. Nothing crazy. I just, that brings in such a freaking vibe. Actually side chaining that invisible kick to the uh, the melodies. And honestly, the melody itself, that's like that really glidey, um, like lead almost, really, really brings in that emotion. So I'm, honestly, this one, I actually like better than the first one, which I really like the first one. All right, but I don't have enough time to continue. So I will see you guys in another like day or so. That is, I, just, I can't get over this beat right now.